Hey, welcome to the Ridgeway Kitchen. I'm Jeff, and I'm cooking. You thought I was going to say something different. I already washed my hands, and I know Terry always double checks me on everything. So today, hello. <laughs> what the hell was that? But anyway, today hello. we are making Italian meatloaf. Now we made this years ago. Haven't made it in a long time. Uh, I don't know if the kids ever liked it because they always hated meatloaf, but this was always a little special thing for us and uh, I figured I'd make it today. The, egg, just, the eagles suck. I think they just blew it. I'm going to leave screen just for a minute. No! Stay, stay with Jeff! Yeah, the eagles suck. I think they just switched, the, they switched from that game. Okay. Every once in a while when the quarterback's the fourth quarter, they can run the ball. They had a minute 11 left, I think, if I, and I'm running back and forth between this, not to get off, off on the thing, but, you know, if there's nobody around you, Mr. Hurts, you can run the ball and run to the out, outside and get out of bounds. You don't have to stay in there like this. But again, okay, quarterback in high school, so I, I, got, I got issues with that. I know only, it was only a high school thing, but either way. Okay, we're back to this. I'm going to make an Italian meatloaf. We're going to use, look at this, oh my, oh you can't because you're on tripod. But yes. we, we have Italian Hi. sausage. I can see. Oh, you can see it? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know how much you can see. We have Italian sausage, which is very good, and this is very flavorful. We're also going to use turkey because why? Because it's good. No, because you can't eat beef. I can eat beef. I have never I tasted your beef. Yeah, you and tasted it. I had it. no reaction. And you didn't up like a tick. I just, I lost my, my uh, flavor for beef, I guess. And I what do they know. say about meatloaf? Don't ever let your meatloaf, right? Because mm. mm. two out of three mm. ain't bad. So we might as well use meatloaf songs. I want you, I need you. But no, I won't get into that. So we're going to be putting together sausage, Italian sausage, and turkey. We're going to have to use... Panko bread crumbs. Why did me. you say we have to use? Because we need something like this to hold it together. Well, sometimes you use oatmeal. That was from Frosty, right? Didn't they call Frosty oatmeal? I... Oatmeal! Yeah, I remember. Oh. See, these are stupid things I remember in my head. But we're going to use one cup of panko bread crumbs, plain. We're going to mix that together. Let's get rid of that. And you can't see what I... What I have in the sink. <laughs> I. No. What? It's dead. It has nothing to do with dinner. I know. Just. But I, I love hummingbirds. So I have all my hummingbird feeders in here soaking in hot water and soap because they're, they're dirty as hell. And since it's the season, you know, to get rid, you know, put them away, I, I did that. So, okay, we're going back. Again, my hands are greasy. I apologize. I thought I had everything sitting out, but the eagles are pissing me off, so now I'm all discombobulated. We're gonna use like a teaspoon of garlic. And lucky I had enough in here. We need more. Hon, put this on the list. Yes, we need more garlic. Okay. Let's throw the juice in there. We'll get rid of that. That goes to the recycle. Well, if you don't have that, you could use garlic powder. Right. Third a cup of Parmo, Parmesan, look at that, very nice. Terry doesn't know I took all of her Parmesan that she had left. Oh, thanks. Put that on the list too. Uh-huh. That goes in with the hummingbird feeders. A third of what? Almond milk. We don't use milk, you know, regular milk anymore. We use almond milk. So that's a third of a cup. But you can use regular, whatever, right. whatever floats your boat. Right. Then we have two eggs. No shells, I hope. We're putting them in there. If you can't tell, I love to cook. Now, prior to this, I did saute some onions, and I like to brown them up a little bit. Not to say saute and they should be this brown, but I do love it this way. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Usually they put them in raw in a meatloaf. They smell but good, I smell them. That's just my breath, I apologize. So, that is all together. We, we've done everything. We have the loaf pan right here, and we have the oven preheating to 400. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this. Is it on convection or? No, I just got it on a regular bake right now. Okay. Are you flexing a little bit because you have that? No, I'm just, option? well, convection usually cooks it a little faster. That's oh, all. okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to mix it together, put it in the loaf pan, and then I'm going to add, and this shit is banging. And I apologize for saying shit, but I don't care. Lucini, this this spicy Tuscan tomato sauce is good, and and my lovely wife will attest to this, correct? Yeah, it's my favorite. This is it's got it's got perfect spice to it. It's got perfect uh, all the seasonings and things. So what we're going to do? We're going to layer this in. Okay. Oh yeah. So we're going to put that in the bottom of the pan. Not a lot, maybe half. Eh, a little more than half. Spread around my spatula that I always like to keep handy. And then what we're going to do, once we mix the meat loaf together, we're going to set that in the bed of tomato sauce and we're going to cook it for roughly an hour and 15 minutes. So how are you going to mix up that meat loaf? With my bare hands. Mm-hmm. That's, but that's again, right. I know. I'm I, just saying. I, I wash them and I always try to make sure I wash them. And I keep paper towels everywhere where I've always, I'm pretty anal about washing my hands. Can, can you tilt that or no? Can I what? Can you tilt it? I can once I get it done mixing everything together. And can I touch your hair with my hands after I'm done mixing this? No. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm still pissed off about the eagles. It really bothers me. But either way, my fantasy team is winning today so far, and I'm playing Joe Bump in our league. So anytime that I can rub it in his uh, so-called wound with a little salt, I will. Because Joe, just remember, you forgot that you had a uh, tight end that was on a bye, and you didn't change him out. So, oh, he didn't. No. Oh. So what do I say about that? Dumbass. Sorry, Joe, but that's what I do. Well, that's unusual. That is unusual. Maybe yeah. because he thought he was done for the season because his... Uh, I don't know. I thought you said that he had a chance. He did have a chance. If JT had lost all three games and Joe had won, then, yeah, he still had a chance. Okay, I got shit everywhere. I'm going to try to... So that's everything mixed up. Yeah. And, it'll probably... and all that will fit in that loaf pan? Probably think? not. Well, so that's two pounds of meat, right? That's two, ma two pounds, yes. So we got... I a, think it'll fit. We got a pound, again, we have a pound of turkey and a pound of Italian sausage. And there's a hunk of Parmesan cheese that didn't get mixed up. So we're going to try to get this all mixed up and put in there. And again, like I said earlier, we're going to leave it in for an hour and 15 minutes with foil on the top. The last 15 to 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to pull the uh, foil off. Oh, look at that. Look at that log. We're not done yet, people. But we got this Tuscan pasta or spaghetti sauce in here. That's I really don't think you need to put any any more of that sauce on there, do you? That's an awful you, lot of sauce. You do lay a layer on top. Well, I'd only go a little bit. Back in the day, we used to use ragu. Nothing against ragu, but that didn't have the flavor of this. Lucini. What do you say? You said Lucini. Luciano. No, you said Luciano earlier. Uh -huh. Are you using that Luciano sauce? And I said, no, it's Lucini, huh? Get it right. So, there we are. We're basically... We're, we, and I'm trying not to use basically because I use that a lot. But basically, we have... There's the loaf. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm yeah, trying to... we can see it. It's a clear pan, huh? Okay. We're going to put foil on top. Let me wash my hands first. I don't want to get this all over my hummingbird feeders. See, I do wash my hands a we're going to put foil over top. Thank God for Reynolds. Reynolds puts together a fine piece of aluminum foil. I'll leave that out. And you always use a very generous piece. Mm-hmm.
I thought you were gonna put a little bit of sauce on top. Not yet. Oh, you jumped oh, while you're me. cooking. Yes. Oh, um, I didn't know. Hour 15 okay, minutes. I'm sorry. Hour and 15 minutes, Terry wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Which is usually because she doesn't really listen to me all the time because I do ramble a lot, especially I had a few beers before it because the Eagles pissed me off. Did I mention that? But um, you put this on for an hour and 15 minutes. We're going to put it in the oven. It's at 320 now, so it doesn't hurt to put it a little early. And then once we get to the hour and 15 minute mark, I'm going to pull the pan. I'm going to pull the foil off and I'm going to layer a light and What layer. are we having with the um, meatloaf? You're getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Oh, am I? You're hungry, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> so, no, tonight we're going to have leftover stuffing with a little mix of... What? What's the name of the stuffing we use all the time? A stovetop. Yes, we're going to mix a little stovetop in because we have still have a little bit of Thanksgiving leftover, not a lot. And uh, we're going to mix that together and we're going to have that as a side. It might be plenty. And then since we have so much meatloaf, probably Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, we're going to have this with pasta, the leftover, which would be perfect, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to say. You know, well, I didn't know if you were talking to them or me. No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Who the hell else am I talking to? All right, so I'm going to put this in right now, and again, hour and 15 minutes, and this should be perfect when it comes out. We'll pull the foil. We're going to put it in the middle of the rack without burning the shit out of my arm and my hair. I think I just burnt the hair off my arm. But we're gonna wait, wait an hour 15, we'll be back. All right, take care. Hey, welcome back everybody. So an hour and 15 minutes have passed. So we pulled the meatloaf out, looks delicious already. John and Luna are eating in the background. So if you hear any jingling of, you know, uh, pans and plates and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit more of the Lucini tomato sauce on top, just a little bit, because we got a we got a shit ton in here already. Perfect. It's a little messy. Then we're going to use a little Italian cheese. What, and what is that? Italian. By Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I know, but no, it's, it's just it's Italian a combination, cheese. Italian it, style. It's, yeah, so it's, it's Italian got a style. So it's different. a combination of uh, different. Probably, uh, you can put whatever cheese you like on it. Right. We like Walmart cheese, which is an Italian blend. And we like a lot of cheese in this family, don't we, hon? Yeah. So we're going to stick this back in uncovered for probably 10 to 15 minutes, just enough to heat up the tomato sauce and, and melt the cheese. You're, you're ready to say something. What is it? Well, I think it's going to melt quickly, so uh, well, I, I would only would. say like maybe five minutes. Oh, okay. Well, 10 to 15, so no. Oh, no. no, we're not going five. No. No. So, thank God for KitchenAid. We love this stove. Did you want to see this? Or can you see it from there? Well, how about I get the end, the end, uh... The when you result? take it out, yeah. Oh, okay. But either, oh, it smells delicious though. Right, John? If you were a meatloaf lover. Yeah, and the man's wearing shorts. It's freezing out and he was wearing shorts. Yeah. This is, this is I all lost my tan, so this I got is like, all winter. Uh, albino white legs. But either way, uh, we're gonna wait 10 to 15, not Terry's five, because I'm cooking 10 to 15, and then we'll pull it out and we'll plate it, taste it, whatever we gotta do. Go from there. See you in 15. 10 to 15. So the uh, meal is done, right, hon? It beeped. It beeped. Let's turn off the timer, open the stove, and look. What is that? That is simply gorgeous. Oh, my. Oh, it smells really good. That's just me. But the meat smells good, too. Look. Oh, by golly. So we're going to shove this up so the dogs don't get burnt. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plate the mess. Well, don't you have some other things going on the stove over yes. there? Yes. Oh, good point. Yeah. So we have we have leftover um, Thanksgiving stuffing, which is here, and then we're going to add that to the mix. We're going to add a little touch of the um, the bag stuffing, just a little stove bit, top. just stove top. I keep forgetting. I don't know why I do that. I don't know. I'm in a brain fart. But we're going to add a little bit of that. We got gravy and we got peas. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole because it's green. They're, they're my peas, baby yeah. peas. You can turn that off. I don't want mushy. 
See, if it's green, I don't eat it. That's why I take a multivitamin. But we're going to add everything together. This is already boiled, so we're going to take this stuffing. We're going to add it in here without splashing it all over the place. And we're going to add a touch of the stove top. Just a stuff touch. That's it, right there. Yeah, you need to put a lid on that. Start and put a lid on that. Yep, and so I'm grabbing a spoon. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna mix it up just to see if it's too much moisture in there and butter. Then we're gonna add a little bit more. But it'll I think soak gonna... it up as it sits too. Yeah, I know. But look at that. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, I don't think you need any more. What? It, no, I think it'll soak it up as oh, it sits. Okay. All right, but either way, look at that. So we're going to do that. We're going to plate everything, check it out, and do a taste test. You sure I don't have that anymore? No. So just put the lid on it. Scoop me, John. Let it sit. Hey, John, scoop me. Johnny, whiny. Johnny. Is you hungry? Huh? There we go. We got that. We covered. Throw that in the sink. Grab it a couple plates, right? Yeah. Okay, everything's plated for this meal. What I'm gonna ask is the young lady behind the camera to come over and do a taste test. Oh, thank you. So this is yours, because I put green stuff on it. I hate green stuff. Hello, people. Come on. It looks good. What, so what do you want me to taste? The, the first, this? Well, yeah, that, because we know the stuffing's gonna be good, because that was good before. And the peas are green and nasty, so. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Take that, Gordon Ramsay, for not choosing us for the F word. It's delicious. It's got right? a little bit of a kick, and I think that's from the sauce. The sauce, the sausage, probably, too. Yeah. Oh, 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 and the sauce. Are you going to taste it? No, I'm going to wait and eat after I close this off, because I'm starving, and I get miserable when I don't eat. Wonderful. So, give you a little history. Gordon, we were up for the F word, right? The Gordon Ramsay show a couple years ago. And we got all the way to the finals. The producers called and said, yeah. uh, you know, what, you know, can you do anything with okra? And I said, well, we never really did anything with okra before, but I'll give it a shot. But I really don't like okra because it's green. So maybe that was so, why. So that you think that they didn't pick you because you don't like okra. No, it's because I don't like green stuff, maybe. that That's the... I was targeted. Uh -huh. So, Gordon Ramsay, this stuff is good, and you should have picked me for the this F This is word. really good. I would try this. Right. It's very easy. Oh, and the other was buttermilk. Remember the buttermilk chicken? The chicken. And I yeah. said, it's all about the buttermilk, which yeah. I never use buttermilk because that's, like, got high cholesterol, high fat, stuff like that. But either way, so it's we're good. to you. You eat a half a gallon of ice cream every two days. But I take cholesterol pill, so yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, either way... Uh, try this. It is excellent. Yeah. You know, all the you know stuff we do here. It's all to try to show you guys what we do on a daily basis. But this is good food. So either way, have a great day and a good life. Take care. Bye bye.